What is shimping everybody? Today we got ourselves a great match between Thunder Blunder 777 and Doppel Sold Soldner. It's Doppel Soldner. Yep. <laughs> Alright, looking at the team. Blunder looking like he's got a Hita Fita squad. It really does. And uh looks like Doppel's got himself uh, a nice scarf ice beam we want. <laughs> Just kidding. Scarf ice beam? <laughs> Willow wish that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt the Weavile. Does get rid of the leftovers, so Tornadus is gonna be a little bit more effective. But how effective? I don't think it's gonna be too effective. Um, I'm really surprised Alpha Soldier didn't use Zoomerl because uh, the only thing stopping Zoomerl on any CTC team is that's that's very true actually. Because as you can see, <laughs> a Zoomerl is uh, kind of a problem for the Hita Fajita squads. <sighs> Really, really didn't get the scouting report. Knock off again. Alright, well, at least you got some HP back from that pain split. Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of have to stay in and go for another knockoff because otherwise you're just going to give Rotom more HP if you go to a different Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. And you kind of want to keep this Rotom low just for the, uh, I guess it's Mega Gyarados? Uh, it looks like, yeah, Mega Gyarados. Um, yeah, or Mega Alakazam, do you but think? What? Interesting switch. Fat Neck Soul Gazer, I definitely agree with that uh, nickname though. Alright, let's see if he has the low kick here because low, if Knockoff did 29, low kick should bring it down around 40, 30%. So, yeah, he's not really playing around the Tornius, but I guess since he does have the Weavile to revenge it, he's not really too concerned about it. He should be with uh, Rocks up though because, like, Tornius might not be able to beat Weavile, but Weavile can't outlive Tornadus because Tornadus has Regenerator. Right, right. So I think he probably doesn't want to weaken Rotom Wash too low and just wants to get up rocks here. Since, um, since Doppel doesn't have any hazard control Pokemon on his team. Yeah, so rocks are going to be exchanged right here. You could go for Earthquake. Or... Yeah, Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw would be not a bad play. Uh, yes, as he doesn't, he probably doesn't have any switches for Dragon Claw, but he gets up his rocks, so that's that's pretty cool. Isn't this banned? Which one? Isn't Lando's banned? Lando I is uh, suspected, I think. Dude, it's so broken. <laughs> Dude, it's actually a very powerful Pokemon. This this is actually like jam bad in tip top condition right here. This is like. This is actually ah uh, like, yes. Like he's been going to the gym, he's been working out, you know. What's what's the health of the Weavile? Ooh, Weavile's gone. Uh, yep, Weavile's gone, and I think um, yeah, Tornadus and Gyarados will both take some some stealth rock Ooh. damage as they switch in. Dragon Claw. I think he's got to stay in a Dragon Claw. Go for the Dragon Move. That's why I thought the Dragon Claw was a pretty good play. Last turn, not going for stealth rock. <laughs> he goes out to Tornadus. Maybe he doesn't have Dragon Claw. It could be uh, Dragon Tail. Maybe. I'm always I'm always scared to go out to Tornadoes against Landers, just just in case they do have that Rock Slide and just annihilate me. <laughs> like the the uh, Expert Belt Rock Slide or something. Yeah, <laughs> Expert Belt. <laughs> what is going on? Who does that? I, All right. So. Wait, hold on. <laughs> hold. <laughs> does he does he have Rock Slide? Nah, no, he's got Knockoff. Okay. I was about to say, come on, dude. Like, let's not savage anybody here. <laughs> Alright, so I guess now he gets a free switch into, um... Into... I guess Gyarados if it's Mega. Or Alakazam. Is it really free, though? Well, yeah, he's, he's sacked me well, so he gets a... Is it free, though? Nothing... Let me tell you guys, nothing is life in life is free. Because... If it's free... Because... Okay... Let me think. Let me think. Yeah. Because yeah. money doesn't grow on trees. Money. There's a cost to something. The, the cost of going out to Gyarados means you can't go out to something else. It means you're taking South Rock damage. There's there's always a cost to something. I'm, Poke Aim thinks, oh, I get a free kill here. It's not free. Yeah. It's not free, bro. Poke Aim, I'm calling you out. Calm Poke Aim out. <laughs> 1v1 me. 
FGT. <laughs> Just kidding, bro. Freaking love Pokemon. Great player, great individual. All right, he's so a, what's, a what's, he, what's, he, what's he thinking about? Well, he's trying to think uh, what Pokemon would be free, but you know, of course, like you said, nothing is really free. Yeah, nothing is free. Like, there's there's always the mind games. Like, he did go for knockoff, so he's like, and he stayed in. So, like, he might actually have Rock Slide. Yeah, you know. Uh, but the thing is, looking at his team, he's got Heat Train, he's got Rotom, so it's like he's got Tornadus covered a little bit. But the way that he, he played the, the Tornadus checks recklessly, so he might actually have Rock Slide. I don't know. I don't think he would, though. Nah, it's, it's probably like Earth Power Knockoff and then uh, Focus Blast with Psychic or Sludge. It's Ranger. interesting that he does have Knockoff with Weavile, though, because Weavile handles the Pokemon that you want to knock off, right? Right. Like the Lotties, you want to knock off them, the Gengar. Like, Gengar's kind of annoying. Because he tran keep trying to take a hit, but it doesn't have recovery. All right, so it definitely doesn't have that. Uh, yep, and <laughs> Dragon Dance is here. Yeah, I mean, if he does have Ice Shard on Weevil, it's not too big of a problem because I don't think Ice Shard kills. But if he does have, like, he needs to have Ice Shard and Sucker Punch on the Toxic Rook. I guess he was hoping for a little bit more damage from the Sludge Wave. Yeah, probably. I mean... Actually, Sucker Punch might kill. That's, yeah, that's what oh, I was right. thinking. If, if he's like Life Orb or something, Sucker Punch should kill. Crunch. He went for the Ice Fang here. Crunch is... Best play he could've went for. Ah, Ice Fang hits Toxic Crook a little harder. Yeah, that's true. Wait, does it? Ice Fang, ba yeah, uh, ba barely. harder than Crunch? Yeah, a little bit more, yeah. He might not even have Crunch, he might have Earthquake. Yeah, that's a possibility. Alright, here comes the frog. This is you. This is you, right? It's, uh, yeah, it's Croak. <laughs> that's you, right? You're Toxic Croak? No. <laughs> You're not Toxic Croak? I like to think of you as Toxic Croak, honestly. Really? Why? What makes you? What makes me a Toxic Croak? Huh? <laughs> you're, you love water. Yeah. You, you're a swimmer. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like every single, almost every single water type is a swimmer as well. <laughs> yeah, but Toxic Croak loves water. It hates the sun. You hate the sun. Confirm. Oh. Yeah, there, that's it, man. He's gotta. Hey, live. Oh. Okay. Mind game is here. Uh. Nope. Seven, <laughs> seven, seven more turns of mind games. <laughs> Actually, that's true. Alright, so Landers is not low, right? Landers is at 87. Wow. Let's do it pretty well. Seven more turns of mind games. I told you, Doppel. Seven more turns of mind games. What do you What do you do? No mind games at all. He, he doesn't want to waste time with mind games. He knows that you know Blender would already win the mind game. All right, so Alakazam better have something like Sub or Encore, cause he's in a really, I guess Garchomp will take a hit. Let's see, Gar yeah, Garchomp can take a hit and. I mean, Garchomp can just come in right now, easily. Yeah, Garchomp is a great play. So, so Heatran is at... Let's take a look. 59? 59 after rocks? Yep. So, Drachi... I'm thinking... Scarf Drachi? Yes, no? You think he can just spam Iron Head all the way now? Nah, because uh, he needs to weaken the the heat train a little bit more. Exactly. No, no, you can't bring this in here, so it's not <laughs> scarf. Why Jirachi though? Right now. He's probably. You think he's like? Ooh. Sub. Wish. Wish. Oh, that's good. Gotta hope for no crit here. 
God, toxic food lives hazards though. So I don't think no, there's nothing that really warrants him switching to heat train here. Right? Um I mean heat train can this I mean it, it can just easily come in, but I mean I guess he just sucker punched here, so Drafty can take a knockoff. Yeah, it can. Ooh. I think I think this is game for Doppel, right? Because I think he should have might just win. Yeah, I think he should have gone into uh, Lando here. Because Lando would just weaken Torn even more. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Drachi takes one hit. Cause the sucker punch did 51. Like you, f you factor in stab. What was? Oh my gosh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That would have been amazing. That would have. 100% bid game over. Oh wait. Yeah, what a 100% bid game over. Yep. What? Okay, but he switched. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why does this matter? Why did that miss? That, that miss doesn't matter, right? Ah. Uh. Cause it's not it's stealth rock chomp. Yeah, it didn't matter at all actually. I mean he I mean he could just go right back into um Jirachi here just to weaken it more with life orb, but then I think uh what do you think like knockoff and um icicle crash will knock out Jirachi? Yeah, like I don't know why you would switch out. That didn't make any sense, because like, I was pretty sure like defensive Rachi can live a knockoff, I think. Right? Like is he c What? That 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 hurts. That's that sucks. It's actually horrible. The only reason I think that he would save Drachi was for Alkazam to take a Shadow Ball, but you have a Torn, right? Yeah. Like, I guess he doesn't want to put too much pressure on Torn because it, he needs it for Heatran. He needs it for the end, pretty much. Yeah. Alright, well, I think Torn's going to actually be a problem now. Um. That sucks. I think the double miss was really unfortunate. Yeah, I, I mean Alakazam might actually do something because he he's probably using Mega Alakazam. Yeah, that's it's gotta be Mega. Yeah, so he might be able to pull something off with that maybe. I don't know. Drachi's healthy, but I don't know why you would save Drachi. Like he has the Lando, which beats it. Heatran beats it, and Alakazam does a ton with Shadow Ball, and you could just kill the he Weevil outright. So you're not worried about. Tornadus getting destroyed. And then Garchomp can beat it doesn't beat Lando, but it can weaken Lando enough to where Tornadus can take it out in one hit. Yeah, exactly. Alright, well. It's a speed time. Uh maybe. Since he's mega, he could possibly be modest. Yeah, that's true. Could be a lower speed just because of mega. No nickname on Alakazam by Blunder. Interesting. That's an interesting play. Um, maybe he didn't know what to name it. Maybe there's a deeper meaning to it. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. That sucks. That's... So now, so now he's got to hope for misses on Hurricane or whatever. Oh, uh, Focus has. Blast. Yeah, yeah, misses on Focus Blast so that he can actually win. Maybe. Switched out here. Solid Drachi switch in. Loses to both Heatran and Lando. But Alkazan can do more damage to them. You, you know one possible scenario how Blunder can win this? If that uh, Lando is actually Rock Polish. I don't think so because Torn. So if he knocks it off somehow.
goes out to Alkazam. Overtorn. Oh, HBI. okay. Yep, all right, all right. That's that. All right. I don't, I don't think Soul Gear is going to be able to overcome his fat neck to be able to seal the deal. You think fat neck Soul Gear has a fat enough neck for this? I don't think so, man. Like, he has, he probably has a fat enough neck for this, but yeah. not for all of it. Like, he might have... He might be able to take the the mosquito bite. Right. But he's not going to wear off the itch. Ah, uh, that's true. Like, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. But that, I don't think the mosquito bite is going to add any, uh... Any more to his neck. Yeah. Like... You're gonna be sleeping at night, and you're just gonna be like, "Dang, I need to, I need to take a shower, cause it's so itchy." Yeah. All right, here it is. Here's the. This is it, guys. Flash cannon. Let's see it. It all comes down to this. Focus by Smith sucks, but come on, he missed two ice cold crashes. He. That was that was all the hacks, right? That was I mean that was crucial hacks, but the two icicle crashes extremely crucial. Um, yeah, that's about it, I think. Yeah, that really sucks. I think uh, it's gonna cost Blunder the game. All right, so he he went for knockoff here. Ooh. Huh? Interesting. So he might not have. It's gonna come down to some iron heads at the end of the day. Actually, with iron head, magma storm, poor accuracy. Well, not poor. Is it 75 or 85? Uh, magma storm is uh, like. Let me check. It's uh, 75 accuracy. So 75 accuracy. Iron head is 60% to flinch. He has 25% chance to para. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> Blunder is insane. All right, well, I don't think I don't think. Pretty sure Magastorm doesn't kill though, so he has a couple, couple opportunities. If Magastorm hits, I think it's over for Jirachi. Flinch. Right. That's Flint how much flinch. is it doing? It's doing six percent, so he needs three flinches. Yep. That's one. Well, he needs four after yes. this. Four total. This That's the first. So he needs three more. Protect. He got through it. Did it hit? Yeah, it uh, hit. It, it did hit, but it, <laughs> he got protected. Hit. Alright, let's see. Let's see this. Come on, Blunder. Pull through. All right, or should I say Soul Gazer? Uh, I hit. Ah, oh, you're right. It does need at least uh, one more, I think. Can't protect here. Gotta go for another iron head. Yep. He needs uh three iron heads, right? Or two or three. Depends on the rolls. Yeah. One more. Oh that's ah, it. That's it. Ooh. Blunder. Yeah, that's the thing, man. I think he should have used iron head with Jirachi initially. Yeah, I think so. I don't think he should have just um saved it for the end. I guess he was thinking like Thunder Wave support, but I think that might have been a mistake. But that's going to be game one. Blunder seals the deal with the Earth Power. Only gets one flinch from the uh, Jirachi, but, you know, did get two crucial misses with Icicle Crash. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for game two. Bye.